Hello, hello, Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> oh, the allergies are just going crazy. Uh oh, I'm trying to fight off allergies. But anyway, I want to talk to you about it's one thing to experience something, and it's another thing to carry it. You know, you know, the thing is, we can experience anger, or more likely, we can experience bitterness and resentment and, you know, negativity, but it's another thing to carry it. I mean, now, you know, I get mad at somebody. The Bible says, you know, you can get mad, but don't let the sun go down on your anger. But it's another thing to now to carry anger and bitterness and resentment inside you. Whole nother ball game. Now, therefore, you are carrying something negative that you will get mad, you know, at something that something good is going on around you. You will more likely find a reason to get mad because it's, it's right there. You're carrying it. You're storing it in your heart so when the time you want to get mad about something while everybody's happy about something, you're going to let it all out because you carried it. And the only reason why you will want to carry, you know, bitterness and anger and resentment is because it's placed in your treasure, in your heart. See, your treasure, your heart is a treasure chest. And what things that you value is what you will carry in your heart. And reason why people, you know what I'm saying, be bitter and, 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 you know, bitter and mean and nasty all the time because they, they, they treasure that kind of stuff and they will carry it with them. They will wait for a moment in, of negativity and will maximize, you know, the moment and make a big deal of it. Boom, you know, and because they carried it inside their heart. You know, you know the phrase. I got to get this off my chest. I'm like, you got to get it off your chest. Why are you carrying something in your treasure chest? You know what I'm saying? That will cause nonsense. That rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Why are you carrying something that will cause negativity towards somebody? That rhyme too. I mean, the thing is, you need to understand you're not supposed to be carrying stuff like that. That will not better you, but make you worse. You know, but hey, what if bitterness was acid? You know, and what if you put bitterness in your heart and it melt a hole in your heart? You know what I'm saying? What can you carry? You know, what what is going to stay in there? If someone love you, you can't receive love because it's going down a hole. You know, if, if nothing good can't dwell, nothing bad can't dwell. You know what I'm saying? It's just not nothing to carry. And the people are walking around with holes in their heart and big holes in their heart, huge holes in their heart, and they can't treat nobody. They're not going to desire to treat nobody right. They don't care less about life, period. They just, you know, living, you know, living to die, you know, really. And, you know, it's just crazy because they will put themselves in situations and argument and frustration and bitterness of negativity to get them to, you know, live wages of sin is death, you know. If you keep on operating in sin, you know. And that's what happened with people that have, like, holes in their hearts. And, look, the thing is, it's not good to carry. Guess what? We will experience situations that will make us angry. We will experience situations that we can will get better. But we do not have to carry it or we should not carry it. You know what I'm saying? If we carry it, it's going to kill us. We need to carry things that's going to give us life. Life more abundantly that we can make better decisions with our life and prosper. You know what I'm saying? And that's the only way to prosper, you know, when we do prosper things. Hello, how you doing? And that's what we have to come to that understanding. We have to allow positive things to come inside of us to help us become better people and do something to our heart. 
Men are broken hearts. Men are disappointments. Men, the things that, you know, could have ca that caused us to, you know, feel angry and disappointed and mad. Men that we got to get rid get that stuff out of there to get stuff that can build us up to make us better people so we can start doing better things for, and better other people. You know what I'm saying? That's the object of the game. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? It's all about, you know, carrying it. You know what I'm saying? Make Declare your heart to be a carrier of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Because the Bible says that having a be attitude, blessed are those that are hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. You know what I'm saying? They shall be filled with something. But the opposite is, you know, they that hunger and thirst after wickedness, they shall be empty. Hmm, I wonder why. Could it be that the acid done melt a hole in there and whatever goes inside of there, shoot, gets out of there, it shall be continue being empty. But pray for a heart with a beatitude to have blessing and that you hunger and thirst after righteousness so right things can happen in your life that everything will be all right and not all wrong. All right? That's the message. I hope it bless you. I hope you get the understanding. And I hope you be a carrier of righteousness and experience righteousness too. All right? To God be the glory to Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.